Hello, I'm Dr. Aloka Hedau, pediatric ophthalmologist and spin surgeon at Dr. Aloka Zaike. Today I'll talk to you about what happens in a spin surgery. Look at this eyeball. These are the muscles of our eye. We have six muscles on each eye. When there is an external squint, the outer muscle is tight and the inner muscle is loose. To correct this, there is an outer peel which is there on top of the eye called conjunctiva which is opened and then the muscle is either loosened or tightened according to the squint. Many a times the squint surgery uh, adjustments may be required post surgery which are again done on the next day of the surgery. Squint measurement done a day prior or on the last visit is extremely important for your doctor. This helps uh, us decide how much correction has to be done on the muscle. So please ensure that your child or any patient is cooperative, well fed and in a good mood to go undergo the squint assessment. The muscle which is there on top of the eyeball is on the outer layer of the eyeball and therefore squint surgery does not cause any damage on the internal main parts of our eyes which is the cornea, the lens and the optic nerve. Therefore squint surgery does not cause any change of your eyesight or any permanent damage to the visual pathway of the eye. Thank you.